Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to Victoria 2 as the Spanish. It's 1885. In the last episode, we reloaded what we were just doing. And what we're going to do is consider whether or not we should attack. So we have a bit of a crisis. We could fight these guys. But the problem is, were we to fight them, Italy is ahead of us in the Great Power Track. Uh, which is really, really annoying. What that means is, if we join the war, we will not be the leaders of the war. Meaning we will not be able to add our war goal, which is really annoying. So if I just flat out declare the place in the sun war right now. Hmm, so these guys move over first. I mean, I doubt that's going to really help. I'm also going to save a reform until I know we're going to have to have to deal with stuff. An international crisis is brewing. What? What? A crisis. Japan. Acquire colony Sakhalin. UK will join Russia. Germany will join Japan. Spain will join... I will join Russia. Am I in charge? Oh, the great... Russia is the great power in charge. Okay. This is the point we have to decide. Do we want to fight in this battle ourselves? Or do we want to, like... It's not an easy choice. Where are our troops? That's the question. I guess they're just, like, split all over the freaking world. This is the problem. Actually, I don't know where my troops are. Don't join the war, says Ghostface Killer. Why not, man? How come? Problem is we got a couple artillery units. We're never going to have enough to actually occupy French West Africa just yet. You know what we could do? We could not join the war, wait until the war broils for a really long time, and declare our own war instead. That might be better. So we do have 25 artillery here. Jesus Christ. I'm thinking to not join this war. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking to leave the Italians there in fate. Yeah, that definitely seems like a good idea to leave the Italians to their own fate and just sit quietly for a little while. Uh, we've been encouraging clerks, craftsmen, all over the place in Castilla de Nueva. How many unemployed craftsmen do we have right now? I'm sorry if my voice is a bit gravelly. It feels like it's gravelly. So Castilla de Nueva, we're doing surprisingly well, actually. Uh, making a lot of machine parts. Well, I'm just good. You know, we're actually doing really fine in just like a lot of this. So that's really good. Don't know why we have a glass factory in Castilla Nueva. I don't even know where that is. Castilla Nueva? Oh, it's there. It's the mate, it's the capital. <laughs> I should probably consider that. Spain will suffer pain. Never. So we have iron in Castilla Nueva, but the problem is, is that we also have glass for some reason. Why do we have glass? None of this, this uses iron. I need to have something that use iron, man. Hmm, okay. And a particular population, we're on 12.61% for Castellanueva. How many clerks are we on right now? 2.6. You want a ratio of 4% 4 clerk, 4 clerk craftsmen to 1% clerks, so really we should treat, be up to 3% clerks. So I'm going to put these guys onto clerks. We have 2.4% clerks to 11.8% craftsmen. That's actually not too bad. Soldiers are on 2.3. Valencia, 2.9% clerks to 8.5% craftsmen. Yeah, no thanks. We're going to turn Valencia into soldiers again. We have Ascornia Aragon um, at 5% craftsmen with 0.8% clerks. So definitely could be some more in there. Valencia is doing okay. Like, we do have a pretty decent industrial base for who we are, considering we're pretty crappy. Leon Castilla is where the magic is, though, because the coal... A dank coal and iron. Making some real good progress there. Making a lot of machine parts. Are you trying to give orders to your beloved Supreme Leader, Alger? I know, right, the yo? Um, we, we're both going to build some steamer shipyards because we do not really make enough steamer shipyards. Wait, where is that? So steamer convoys. Yeah, literally. No, I haven't unpaused, actually. So definitely want to turn that up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this war alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to turn down my budget again. We're really rich, so we're fine in that regard. I'm really sorry, Italy, but no, you, you get nothing. I'm really sorry. Uh, we have backed Russia. They want to acquire Sakhalin, but I don't really care. So, And we're just going to focus on building more soldiers. Because what we really do need is to be able to have an army 
able to jump on these areas because I did want to try and grab some stuff from France and kind of tie in the Africa because we have now finished all of that. We've grabbed quite a nice big chunk of territory and it's not until 1890 we're actually going to be able to colonize everything properly. And we've still got to fight that war with uh, the UK. How many how many ships do the UK have? Does the UK have right now? Uh, the UK has a, has only sixty six ships. Really? That's interesting. I have fifty four. I could actually build quite a lot of ships. They're probably mostly heavies, though. Um, probably. Like if we look at their military score, it is seventy one for capital ships. Whereas mine is, yeah, 19 for capital ships. So I have like no capitals. But we're going to rectify that pretty soon. So let's just let's just do this and see what we can do. Our militism is really climbing up, which is not great. Um, I'm concerned about America. I'm definitely concerned about America because we've got all our puppets. There's, uh, there's Iron Railroad, which is great. Steel Shipyards, uh, 1880. This would allow us to get battleships. And we'd have a 7% chance of inventing it as well, as well as cruisers. Cruisers are 5% chance. They are actually the main thing we need for combat. They are literally the best ship. There's no argument. They are the best. In terms of actual mathematical combat, they are just beautiful. Um, there is some good stuff over here, though. You're going to inflate your military school to rank up in great power status. That's kind of the goal here. Yeah, we're trying to increase our great power status as well. Um, we also don't have point defense or any of this tech we really need some of this tech i think it might be a good no i kind of want to get steel no i'm just gonna be building ironclads for a while so let's let's get point defense systems so we can get a little bit more stuff because we are really honestly quite far behind in that regard which is not great uh we're not justifying anything are we no uh we do need to take chile but we also need to take argentina because maybe we should take portugal i already have portugal my friend they're my puppet yeah, they're my puppet. They're my puppet. So, where, where, where is... Get back here. There it is. Decisions. So, the next... Why can, why can I do that again? It's so weird. The next thing we can do... So, Chile is we just need Chile. Rio de la Plata needs Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay. So, in actuality... It would probably... Yeah, it would probably better just go straight Chile because I can get another puppet. Because I have to declare like a billion wars on these guys, which sucks. Like, and look how much it costs. Ten infamy a time. I mean, that's crazy. Mysterious lands of Guatemala. When the Panama Canal was planned, several were sent to the regions of Central America. The inhabitants of the large jungles of the Yucatan narrate stories of old cities and treasures. Adventurers and tomb raiders crossed and explored these remote areas and found ruins or steles. This news may be interesting for archaeologists. Marcus, give me my bullwhip. Gain 19 prestige. I don't get that reference. I, I don't get that reference. Uh, we've also now been knocked down to 7 because Japan... Oh, no, we're up again. We've just climbed. We need to climb over them. Uh, because Japan is doing really well. So we need to try and climb above Italy a little bit. So we're going to inflate our score. For some reason, I can enact the decision twice. Mysterious lands of Guatemala. Oh, because I have puppets. They give access, lose 10,000, and get prestige. I mean, there's no reason they wouldn't, is there? That, that's weird. I don't really understand what's going on. Oh, well, but... Oh! And now I'm five, because that prestige jump... Yeah, must, it, is Marcus in, is Indiana Jones? I don't remember. Marcus, give me my bull whip. No, I, I don't understand. I guess Indiana Jones? Yeah, I think that's what's meant to be Indiana Jones. Okay, I've literally tied with Italy. It leans ahead of me. My, also, their industrial score is beautiful. Uh, Russia's the next, and oh my Christ, it is 700 points. So it's going to be pretty fierce to be fifth now. So if I could now get invited to their to the third war, I would love to. But unfortunately, we're no longer allied. Oh, we're in a crisis. No one's backed anything yet, though. Access no, I'm not going to give you access. Go away. Go away, man. Why would I give you access? Leave me alone. Jackass. Uh, okay. Population still uh, uh, increasing, which is good, which is good. I feel like in Valencia, we could probably get some more. And in Granada. Because Granada, like that's Granada and Gl Granada mainly, actually. 
That's where a lot of factories are. Getting collect clerks. How many people are in Granada? 0.8% to 11. Yeah, okay, so we need quite a bit there. Okay. The thing is, we are building all those ships, which is great. Uh, well, no, we're not, because steamer convoys are so freaking expensive. Jesus Christ. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so deep. It hurts so deep. Um, how many steamer ships and much shipyards am I building? A decent amount. 400 days. 393 days. I definitely should have built these a long time ago. Oh man, I should have built these a long time ago. So in Valencia... I'm building too much ships. No, I'm not. The reason I'm building all these ironclads um, is be I'm building them in every place I can. Also, many of them are the same, but repeated again. The German Empire is back to Japan. They're strongly inclined to support the Russians. Good. Good. Um, humiliate the Russian Empire. So they are indeed expensive. I'm very rich, but I want the ironclads because I need the colonial points to be able to grab loads of colonies. <laughs> I say that colonial wilderness. Uh, colonies are of vital importance. Go away. It's still not joint. I really don't want to be fighting the German Empire and Japan on my own. The Russian Empire is at war with a lot of people. What? The Sino-French War? Wait, what? Oh, they've done the Serb liberation of Tartarmi. Oh, yeah, you can have access. And the French are also headed genres released from the Qing Empire. Oh, boy. That's going to be a war and a half. So France is, is now in a big pickle right now. That's good. The crisis... Oh, there we go. Yeah, the crisis will end soon. So I think maybe we should try to build some more forces here because we have a lot of artillery here. Let's take a look at our troops. 8-4, 5-7, 8-2. There you go. Get some artillery over there. We'll take a couple of those guards. Move it over there. And then move half that way. Really, really beef that unit up. Half that way. And then the other half here. With a couple more guards, if you please. Nope, not really. Okay, just in Europe then, just infantry. No, it's okay. I'll get I'll get bulk loads soon, so that's fine. Let's get some more units in Africa because we have so much troops to recruit. Like, look at this man, that's crazy. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's try and get some more forces and build it up and get ready for the fights uh, that's gonna happen later. Uh, and the odd hussar is also not a terrible choice. Equatorial Africa, there's not a lot. Okay, so we're a little bit running out of pop in some places, but that's okay. The reason I'm doing this is because obviously I'm going to mobilize as soon as the war begins, so I'm going to use the infantry to kind of fill out my army there. So we're mainly going to be using just recruiting our own artillery and then filling it up with extra dudes later. <clears throat> okay. I like it. That's looking good. 15 units more. Um, and when can we do... There is the colonial... Yeah, reform the colonial army. I need naval logistics and bell and Gray's telephones. And that allows me to... Allows the maximum allowed percent of non animus soldier pops in colonies from 1 to 2%. That's going to really increase the amount of soldiers I can recruit from my colonies. I'm recruiting the carry islands. That's fine. I got pop. So it looks like we are going to be at war with Germany and Japan, but that's fine. I don't care about that. Um, okay. It looks like supply is just a bit too much of an issue. Hey, they accepted the offer of the crisis. Okay. See, it looks like it's just a bit too much. Take one artillery, one guard. Take them off of that. There we go. No, not the whole one, damn it. Here, medics. I don't mean for the whole one, you idiot. Here you go. Uh, that's still a bit too many, so we'll take one guard. That should help. Okay, cool. Now we have a nice little, uh, little defensive section. And we'll still take a couple artilleries off of that. Oops. 
We're trying to kind of model our armies right now, so just make sure it's all hunky dory. We also need to put some troops in Bilboa. This is good, having a nice little defensive army ready to hold. There's point defense systems, that's going to increase our digging cap and our fort max level. Deep defense is really good too because of all the infantry defense we get. I kind of want to do that. Kind of do. But there's a lot of processes we could get. Like, what are we what are we doing for coal right now? How are we for coal? Iron, we're surprisingly okay in. But coal, we are not. Hello, colonists. What's up, man? Welcome back to the stream. So, if we got hot blast, that doesn't actually... It's 20, 50%, so it's not that much. But And then it's just steel and iron. Uh, there is pneumonics, which increases oil steam engine okay uh i don't know man i don't know i feel like it could be a good idea to get steel steamers soon to be honest until we have the until we have all the ironclads we need there's no point i think we should get deep defense system because i think defense is more valuable it's just more valuable also we do just now have a bunch of artillery isn't super ideal like right here. Way too much artillery. There we go. These guys all need engineers. We can kind of make the army stack a bit better. Alright, there we go. And it's just one too many. We will just chuck a single infantry unit away and over there. And again, too many units, so we'll go artillery, over to Bilboa, and up you go. Nice, so we have now a very decent defensive perimeter, which is great. We need to get a couple siege stacks over onto the French West Africa if we want to prepare to attack them. Um, militism is rising pretty greatly, but we don't have any risk of actual rebellion just yet. Compound engines give more coal production. Do they? Compound steel is, yeah, it's only 15% though. Hot Blast gives 50% as a flat, so that'd be better for coal. I'll probably get that soon after uh, point defense, deep defense even. Uh, we have Upper House of Conservatives, which is fine because we have seven militaries between 70%. We'll vote for it. Signal attachments, engineer siege, and reconnaissance for hussars and dragoons. That means sieges are a lot faster. Um, Barcelona is the, not the naval ports. How are the naval ports going? Still taking a long time. Few more months to go. Maybe most of a year, actually. The Sundanese Congress, that's fine. Because the thing is, we really need to prepare for... We just... <laughs> we need to prepare. We need to get our puppets up to right strength as well, because they, they lost a lot of soldiers in the most recent conflicts. Sweden is absolutely garbage, so I'm not going to ally them. They have literally nothing. Please leave me alone. I don't want you. It looks like Italy is still in the war. They will not accept. I have too many great power allies, apparently. That's Filipinas, Portugal, and Nueva. I do not. Okay, it's no one else. Does anyone want to be my friends? Russia, I supported you. I supported you, buddy. Come on. Oh, you got Great Britain. Oh, too good for you now. It's literally just U.S. left. I don't think the U.S. are going to want to be friends with me. Yeah, I didn't think so. Negative relations. I mean, the U.S. are pretty powerful. If I can get the U.S. inside, that'd be nice. We just touched over a million right now. That's good. It's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. We're doing well. I'm happy with this. We have this nice little defensive section over here. I'm going to take off this infantry and move into a reserve. No, 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 just the one, just the one. I'm just going to keep letting them come over. We're still improving soldiers here and there and everywhere. Spanish Cantalonia, I'm going to remove clerks and craftsmen. I think I need to start focusing on, oh yes, I need to start going in more soldiers. Spanish Catalonia soldiers, 3.9, Galicia, 4.6, Andalusia, 1.8. No, no, no. Let's get some more soldiers over here. Alliance offer from Chile. That does not seem like like it's worthwhile to me, my friend. That doesn't seem very useful to me, because I'm pretty sure for Chile, it's 
either is a puppet or all cores must be owned by the Kingdom of Spain or the province owner is a puppet. Yeah. Is a, in the Kingdom of Spain is a puppet. So no, I, I'm not going to make you be your ally because I need to be, you need to be my puppet. So could you just stop? Oh man, so if I fight Chile, I'm going to fight Brazil as well. That's annoying. How many troops does Brazil have? 31, that's fine. My combined puppet forces should easily be able to take Chile. All right, but that'll uh, that'll be for this episode. Too sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know if you think of the series so far. I was Alger Hill, and I will continue to be. This has been, of course, some wonderful victory. Thank you for watching. Oh, bye bye.